so let's try to add a book i am going to amazon and i am going to search for a book let's say we are searching for a math book I am searching for books on Amazon so that I can get data to upload in my library. So we are going to open any book. Let's say we are going to open this book. And once open, it is taking time. Internet connection is very slow here. So what you have to do is you take the book name from here, and this is our book name, author name. so we can copy the author name from here oh my god so copy author name publisher we can get publisher from here at the bottom don't take the language publisher we can type in the language as english and description for description we can copy the description from here so description is available here copy the description paste here and price you can set any price i am going to set it for let's say 1250 and you have to select the image if you don't select the image and click on the button then it is going to say all fields are mandatory if you leave any of the field as blank then the form is not going to be submitted it will always display this error all fields are mandatory and you have to fill all the details so i am going to uh, save this image for uploading to pictures camera raw and let's type in math for math books and save it so once i go to choose file and uh, go to pictures again camera raw and we select this math file math uh, book uh, image and this all so add book uh, click on the add book to library button and you can see the pop up appears book edits book successfully added now to check whether the book is added or not we go to list all books here the list of all the books is available so we go here and we can see that the book we just added is available in the library you can see available books in library so this book that i have uploaded recently is available here and all the details like publisher language in which language the book is and book id which is a unique id that we generate uh, when we are going to add a book to the library and this is a card type structure and here we can see the book name written by author name book count already i have set the book count to 3 whenever we are going to add any book we will add three books of that type here we have uh, we know, uh, we can see that we have a price of 1250 by clicking the delete button we can delete this button delete this book and this book will be deleted and by clicking the add we can add some books for example if already there is zero we click the add button zero books added to the library and no book is incremented let's say if we want uh, five books uh, to be added to the library so here we have three books once we click on the uh, look at this number so once i click on the add five books are added pop up was also available here and now eight books are available let's say we want to add two more books so what we can do is click on the add button and you can see a pop up two books added to the library here so this is going to this is how you can add books of the same type to your library and these are the books that i have already uploaded you can see here and if you want to delete some book you can simply click on the delete book option uh, for example let's add another book temporary book let's uh, this book uh, this data is already available so i am going to just change the price uh, and uh, again clicking the add book so this book is again added to so you can see this was the first book uh, this was the book that we added previously uh, whose cost was 1250 and this is the book that i have added recently 1250 uh, the price is too high 12 uh, 125000 so uh, i am going to delete this book so what i can do is uh, click the delete button and you can see a book deleted successfully pop up appears and the book is deleted from the library and this is the book issue log so you might be wondering uh, how this book issue log is well so it shows who has issued the book 
so if, if some student is going to issue the book then it will show logs here since uh, this book is recently added no one has issued it we will issue this book and we will return this book and then we will see uh, whether it is shown here in the logs or not so these are the books that i have already issued it is showing the list of books uh, to be and let's log out and now i am going to enter inside the student uh, panel so student login here i click on the enter library and you can see here this is showing welcome to library so i have used redux to maintain this variable i will explain you what is redux and how it works later so enter the library you are here here student can also see all the books that are available in the library and if a student want to search for some book let's say he want to search for let us see so what he can do is he can simply type let us see and the only book he can he will get is let us see uh, let's say he want to search for data structure book so what he can type is data structures hit enter and he get books for data structure and so if you click this button you again get all the books that are available in the library and the student has an option called issue and here is a warning if you lost this book you have to pay extra charges simple warning and this is the button for issuing the book we can check uh, what works we have so these are the two books that we uh, that i issued previously so i am going to return them for now so once return book returned successfully and the book is also removed from this issue panel and once uh, this click so i have removed both the books and now no book is available here here you can see the student can also see the history of the book that he had written so recently we returned uh, both of these books and uh, now in the library i am going to issue this book issue book and you can see issue book issued successfully and the book count also decreases see here this count 9 so once i issue the book book count become 8 so one book is deducted books i have so i have the same book issued two times or we can say that uh, we have issued two books two similar books and i am going to return this book and uh, you can see the book count increases from 8 to 9 here once again we are going to uh, return the second book also and we can see that the book count again becomes 10 so this is one of the and here we can see we have recently issued book on 66 2020 and returned book on also 66 2020 and it says thank you for returning book on time and now we can log out from this and we can again go to the admin login system and book issue logs so we can see that it also appears here like who book id was this and issued to the student uh, to whom the book was issued the roll number of the student and issued it and returned it and returned book on time so here you admin can see all the details regarding the books and from here you can log out so let's begin with the code and one thing that i forgot to explain to you is if you don't have mongodb installed on your system then what you have to do is search mongodb.com and you have to download the setup for mongodb so here you can uh, you can go on this software button then it is uh, the internet connection is poor so it is taking time to look so here uh, you go to the software and you can go for community server very poor internet connection taking time to load okay it's taking some time here you can see you can select your operating system whatever operating system you are using you can select the version that you want let it be the 4.2.7 which is the latest release package don't select here anything once you select the windows x64 then you get the package you can select the zip file and you can uh, download the mongodb from here and install the mongodb and after you install the mongodb what you have to do is you have to check whether the mongo server is running or not so what you can do is you can go to the task manager and you can check here 
as i am going to show you 